Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with, what you need to focus on, and possible future energies coming in. Okay, so we have our animal oracle. We're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with. We have watch and wait. Oh, definitely being patient about something is definitely not easy, especially, especially if, if you're excited about something. I feel like you're excited about something. What do you need to look at? Time for a deep dive and let it shine. I feel like there's something else that you need to focus on before this thing that you're excited or waiting for is going to come in for you. And then I feel like when you focus on this, right, because you're waiting for this, but there's something else that you need to focus on. And by you focusing on this, time goes by quickly. Just like if you're at work and you're watching the clock and you have something that you want, you're, wanted, you're going to do after work and you keep looking at the clock and it feels like time isn't moving. But if you occupy yourself with something else, if you walk away from it, if you don't look at the clock, if you focus on something else, then all of a sudden time feels like it's speeding up because you're no longer staring at the clock all the time. Overall energy, ant spirit, time to collaborate and I feel... With the puzzle pieces there, it's putting the pieces together. And sometimes we think that our direction that we want to go on is this over here. Because we have, okay, this is my goal. This is, this is what I need to do. But really, there's something else here that you need to learn. There's something else that you need to see before you can achieve this. Um, because if this isn't coming in for you, there's a reason for that. That there's something else that you need to see. All right, so let's look at the seahorse spirit. We have six of cups, four of wands, eight of swords. I feel like there's a partnership that you want that's not happening, and you've been there's there's a partnership, there there's a job, there's this that you have been waiting for a long time to have happen. It's something that you've wanted to have happen for a long time. And it's, you're trying to be patient, but it's not happening. And it's almost like because it's taking longer, you're starting to shut down, that you're starting to close things off. You're starting to get frustrated. You're starting to say, well, is this ever going to happen for me? Or what's going on here? And you're getting frustrated and caught up in that energy. All right. So what you need to look at as time for a deep dive is that that's looking within and saying that there's something else that's going on that you're not seeing. We have the magician. So that is, the magician also represents, with above his head we have the infinity sign, which is individual empowerment and everlasting love and realizing that really you're more in control of this situation than you realize. We have let it shine. I feel like that's you coming to the forefront about something else, something that you like to do, something that you like to focus on, something that you that makes you happy. I feel like this, what you're waiting for, is, is making you happy, but I feel your true happiness is over here. And that could just be coming into your own power. You don't see how powerful you really are. You don't see how strong you are. You don't see that you are really more in control of this situation than what you realize. And that's one of the pieces here, right? The puzzle pieces, that's one of those pieces that you don't even realize is missing. Sometimes when we're doing a puzzle and we get so involved, that sometimes you don't even realize, oh, hey, I didn't finish this section over here, or this piece, piece is missing, and I didn't even realize this piece is missing. And I feel like there's a piece here that's missing that you're not even realizing. But I feel that it has to do with you letting it shine something about you coming to the forefront we have the tower which is rebuilding i feel like you're giving a lot of your power over to this situation over here but you are not giving the power to yourself you're not giving the credit to yourself you're not giving that energy to yourself about everything that you've accomplished or the things that you can accomplish you're not giving yourself enough credit about a situation feel like I, what is this tower here? 
but I feel like it's re yeah rebuilding your strength and your power right that you're queen of wands I feel like that's what you need to rebuild you're giving too much power to someone or something else life is speeding up two of swords nine of cups look at that two of cups bottom of the deck seven of cups emotions feelings um, possibilities I feel that there are possibilities for things that you didn't even realize there's a choice here two of swords two of swords is making a decision but we have the moon up above is because you don't have that clarity about a decision that you want to make but I feel that it has to do with a nine of cups and a two of cups it could have to do with the relationship but I also feel it could do with the relationship that you have with yourself we had the nine of cups the two of cups and the seven of cups which is those emotions that you're feeling um, how you feel towards yourself how what do you feel you can handle I feel like you can put more on your plate than what you're thinking I feel like you can handle more you can do more than what it is you're giving yourself credit for I feel that there's something that you want to do I feel like this may be the path that you're excited about but you feel this is the path that I have to go on this is the choice that I have to make because I feel you know that you're feeling okay this is a safe choice but this is the crazy choice over here right I feel like this is this is maybe the crazy choice this is the different you know this is something that I feel that you've been putting off but now I feel like it's to bring it to the forefront because we have let it shine I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of happiness I feel that it's going to bring your relationships closer together, the relationship that you have with yourself and the relationship that you have with others. And I feel like it's going to feel like life is speeding up because you are focusing on what is making you excited, what is making you happy, what is giving you that enjoyment. It's always so funny. It's like when we have those days off where we do something fun and we're like, ah, oh, you know, this is so cool. Like, you know, I have the day off from work and I don't have to, you know, this is just a fun day that we're going to have. So say we're, you know, you're going to Disney, right? I, you know, whatever it is that you like, I'm just using Disney as a example. So you go to Disney and boy, the day goes by so fast. It's because you're enjoying yourself and you're having fun and you're doing something that you like to do or, you know, you, you don't even realize how quickly time is going by or how fast the day is going by because you're doing something that brings you enjoyment and fulfillment and this is what you need to see that even though you're watching and you're waiting for this you're thinking that this is the path that you want to go on there's something else that you have to see or you have to focus on or you have to put time in but how, what is that you have to take time for a deep dive what is that I feel like you know what it is but I feel like you have to explore it just a little bit more to kind of bring it to the surface to rebuild it to rebuild your strength and to take control of the situation and start focusing on that all right so let's get three you can do it if you believe you can do it you have to believe that you have the magic, that you have that power, that you have that individual empowerment, that you can make things happen, right? That faith and that belief, definitely the Hierophant. Taurus. Queen of Swords, finding a way to make it happen. If there is something that you want to do, you will find the way to make it happen. If you doubt yourself and you say, oh, it's not going to happen, that's not going to happen for me, you're in the negative, well, yeah, no, it's not going to happen because that's what you're putting out in the universe. But if you say, oh, gosh, I would really love to make this happen. I know I'm supposed to do this or I feel like this is the direction that I'm going on, but this is really what I want to have happen. Don't hold yourself back. Don't stop yourself from those dreams and those directions, no matter how crazy you may feel think that they are or how crazy other people may think they are if it's something that is true and important to you and it's a nine of cups for you you can dream it into reality you can make it happen you'll find a way to make it happen finding the balance maybe you have to keep with that regular routine but you find a few hours right a few hours a day a few hours a week a few hours a month to take that deep dive and work towards this nine of cups that you've been wanting to accomplish and having 
because you're focusing on that, I feel that there's more of a fulfillment and you feel excited and you feel driven and you're enjoying life more. I feel I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising and I've been doing these readings for on and off. I'd say the last four years um, because even I was having trouble just trying to do this YouTube channel and I was struggling with that. But I feel that Capricorn's gone through this process of it's been really tough, I would say, the last few decades for Capricorn. And it's been about that personal growth and that personal achievement. And it's releasing those things that were holding us back and, and focusing on, okay, but where do I want to go from here? Because working through a lot of stuff that was holding us back, because it was more like survival mode. And I feel over the last two years, I feel that Capricorn is finally coming into its own power. It's f Capricorn is processing and what happened in the past, leaving what was in the past in the past, processing it, letting it go, and feeling that freedom of this Nine of Cups and putting the pieces together and seeing, hey, that's why all that happened in the past because I had to work through that and I had to free myself from that and so that I can focus on all of these new things that are coming in. I feel the tides are turning for Capricorn. I always felt that Capricorn had all of these difficulties and these struggles and, you know, I feel that this huge weight on Capricorn's shoulders. But now I feel like as time is moving forward that Capricorn is becoming lighter. Capricorn is starting to have those things happen for them. I always feel like for Capricorn, it's always going to be a struggle. It's not going to be something like you snap your fingers and it happens. I feel like whatever Capricorn gains or achieves, it's something that is that was worked very hard for. That it was something that was not easy. That it was that tough climb. That it was that that struggle. But the rewards, the Nine of Cups, feels so much better because Capricorn has worked so hard for it and said, yeah, I deserve to be where I am. I deserve this Nine of Cups because I've worked on it, right? I've, I've spent decades working on it. I've, you know, spent a lot of time trying to figure these things out and find my direction and, and work on myself. And I feel that a, Capricorn does a lot of internal work and has a lot of heaviness that they have to deal with. But I feel moving towards the future, it's lighter, it's happier. But it's almost like because Capricorn has struggled for so long in this, in this, this almost like this darkness, this heaviness, this, this battle, right? That it's like now that we're in the Nine of Cups, it's like, okay, how do I handle this? What is it, what is it that I really want? What is it that I really want to do? And it's like, okay, how do I handle this lightness? Because I'm so used to handling this heaviness. And which direction do I go in? Because there's I feeling like there's so many different opportunities that are opening up for you that it's like, ah, I don't even know what to do. But I feel like it's letting yourself shine. And sometimes you have to take that deep dive to say, if I'm going to shine, what do I want to have shine? What do I want to have feeling? You know, what does it mean to me to shine? Bottom of the deck, five of wands. Yeah, there's lots of choices. There's lots of possibilities and being overwhelmed and going back and forth. And sometimes we think we want this and then sometimes we want that. But I feel like it's that lightness of saying, now I have all of these things that have opened up for me that I can explore and that I'm not just trying to survive through the day or the week or the month or the year. Not everything, everyone is moving at the same time. Some people may still be, you know, having that heaviness. Some people may have moved forward. Some people may be right in the, in the middle here. I kind of feel like I'm kind of in the middle as I'm, I'm, you know, I've cleared the heaviness, but I'm still trying to, you know, the lightness, what does that represent? What does that mean for me? And that may be where you are too, but I feel like don't leave this out to explore it. Take that deep, deep dive. What? Sometimes we don't even know. Sometimes we're like, well, I think this is going to make me happy. And it's like, no, I think that's going to make me happy. And that's why I keep going. I kept going back and forth with my YouTube channel. It's like, I think that's what I want to focus on. That feels really good. 
And then I've stepped away from it, but I'm like, oh, I miss it so much. And I'm like, oh, I really want to do my readings and I really want to put these readings out there because it makes it makes me happy to do these readings and it and and if it helps one person i love it if it helps to motivate you if it helps you to put as i've said before that tarot is what helped me getting through those heavier darker times where it was purely just survival throughout the through the day right just trying to get through my day trying to stay positive trying to stay motivated and sometimes that was a struggle, but I felt that the tarot cards really helped me. They're like, come on, keep going. You can do it. You've got a nine of cups coming in. You've got a two of cups coming in. You can do that, right? Taking that tower and not being afraid of that tower, but saying, okay, what do I have to take down? What do I have to rebuild? What am I not seeing? There are things that I'm not seeing. I know I'm powerful. I know I'm magical. I know I can make things happen, but how do I make that happen? All right, so time to collaborate. Are, there's, are there other people that you need to collaborate with? Don't close the doors on any opportunities. I feel like explore them all. But don't become overwhelmed by all the choices either. <laughs> so there's that fine line. All right, so let's close out with the Star Dragons. Just like with me, I tried my Etsy shop and that, you know, I tried doing that and then that, that became rather overwhelming. But then I was like, I always come back to my tarot. I'm like, this is what I love. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to make work. This is what I want to see grow and evolve. And this is what I, what I love doing. And I, you know, I've branched out like with my Etsy shop and, um, I've tried some couple of other different things, but it's like, no, this is where I want to be. And sometimes when you try something else and you say, that's what I don't want, and it helps you to realize what it is that you do want. All right, so we have grief, accepting loss. I feel like it's some, like I said, some are still processing loss or frustration or some people are still, some Capricorns are still in that survival mode. And that, but I feel that more are starting to transition to, okay, accepting loss, realizing those things didn't happen, realizing that, oh, you know, it's just frustrating. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and this isn't happening. So what is, let me focus on this over here, right? To be able to not get caught up in that frustration, right? And that eight of swords there. And then we have transcendence, achieving success. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So we went from, right, that's what I was saying with Capricorn is that, Capricorn had some survival years, decades, whatever that may represent for you, survival where it's ex processing grief and accepting loss and having those tough times but hanging in there. And now it's more that transcendence where it's achieving success. Achieving success, Nine of Cups, what does that represent to you? Success. Is it emotions? Is it jobs? Is it relationships? Is it the relationship that you have with yourself? What is that? It could be multiple things. It doesn't even have to be one thing. It could be multiple things that you want to achieve, that you want to wake up, that you want to love yourself, that you want to feel positive, that you want to feel motivated, um, that you're working towards a job or you're doing a job or something, you're making money um, that m makes you feel happy, that you're giving back to others if that's what makes you happy, that you're building that home Instead of it being a house, you're building that home, that safe place that you feel. It's you're building those relationships and you're surrounding yourself with those people that are supportive and that, are, that you enjoy being around. That's something that takes time, lots of time. But if you're kind of realizing, okay, looking forward, that's what I would like to have and that's my goals and that's what, what I want to start achieving then that gives you that direction as how do I achieve that and how do I do that? But it's something that takes time. But being able to, because like I said before, I felt like Capricorn was just kind of trying to deal with the grief and loss and frustration and loneliness and the heaviness and was in survival mode. But now Capricorn's moving towards that success. What does that mean? Because you've processed this. I love I love this reading. This, I, this, this reading makes me excited. I would just want to, that's why I touch the cards because I want to take in all of this energy. And I wish you could feel this energy for yourself. And I want you to embrace this energy and say, I can do it. I'll find a way to make it happen. You know, 
that rebuilding. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.